What's going on? Malix, and I am currently, once again, on your screen. That's what I do. Make sure I'm doing it properly. Gotta click the right buttons and things over here. Make sure we're all, holy shit! Data! What's up? 37 months! I don't even want to know why you typed that on there, but 37 months! Good grief! man 
the OGs of OGs, Keto in the house. Appreciate you, buddy. You are the man. 37 months showing the love showing the support i appreciate it seriously i cannot tell y'all how much i appreciate it y'all are the best man damn it's so awesome i'm just like mind blown every time audience warning what audience warning this game shouldn't have it Audience is set for everyone, and uh, yeah, the audience thing is set for it's just, yeah, it's set to everyone. I mean, this is the most cartoony ass game possible. Oh, what do I want to start with? Yeah, it's funny, it's because of who's here. There's a there's an audience. Did you refresh after CS or did you leave it up? Because maybe it just came from that. I am not sure. Always, but what's it say? I didn't even know there was. Because I've got, yeah, it's set to audiences, set to everyone. Content classification. Just like select like drugs, gambling, mature rated game. Uh, that part's done automatically. Violent or graphic depictions. Profanity warning. Have I been, like, auto-flagged by Twitch for cussing? Because if so, fuck that! <laughs> I mean, it's probably fair. I'm, I'm, I'm not even mad about it. Sorry, let me rephrase. I ain't even mad about that shit. God damn. Yeah, it's y'all. That's what it is. No cussing in chat. <laughs> How about fuck this guy? I'm gonna drop kick a motherfucker. How about that? Here, I'm gonna tail whip his ass. Bah! That's what it is. It's Charlie's fault. It's entirely Charlie's fault. I don't even remember what the hell I'm doing in this game. Oh, you can sprint. I can drop kick bitches. We'll go drop kick somebody. Let's drop kick somebody's ass. Watch. Look at this guy. He thinks he'll go. Bow! Get some of that shit. I don't cuss. Nobody I, nobody cusses when we play games. That's not a thing that we do. I put a bubble on his ass. See, it's all Charlie's fault. She even knew. Yeah, this is definitely my uh, my character for sure. Oh, look at this shit bounces everywhere. I'll do that. Yeah, Charlie, you got us you got us in trouble for cussing. It's all it's entirely your fault. It's nobody else's fault. It's only Charlie's fault. I was going to go in the vault thing. I just wanted to peek around the corner to see what was happening. I missed it.
Those throwing knives are crazy. Baldy, who the fuck? Shit, I didn't mean to fall down. I'm gonna drop kick this motherfucker. Bam! Get some of that shit. Sure, group my ass. Wow. Wow, I have a luxurious. Well, you can even see where the where my headset's going across. Look at this beautiful, luxurious locks running through my fingers. You know, get that shit right on all the way up out of here. Y'all spend too much time with Wayne. Keep going on that one. We whoop this shit out of everything in here. And keep using these damn knots. Ooh, the craftsman. Let's blow this up so we don't blow ourselves up. Oh boy, craftsman up to. We can enhance this thing to increase the damage to 195. Creeps this to 105. Let's swim here a little bit. Oh, that's the little salesman guy. Oh shit, we got waves. Oh, I'm gonna need this. still here. tail whipping the shit out of people. These little things are OP as hell. Oh shit, here we go, last wave. I'm stuck. Oh, shit. I got too fancy.
God damn, that was a close one. That's oh, alright, we pulled it back together. Go into this vault and we'll probably get killed. That's the game plan. Kicked his big old ass to death. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, Wayne, enjoy. I'll be chilling here, shooting at everything that moves. There's supposed to be a Kuza. So far, it would appear that that is not happening. Shall we to NC? Hopefully she'll be on here pretty soon. I came in from Ripping off these headshots. I'm keeping my ship that I got. Shit. 
so much for my shield recharging when I kill an enemy. What the hell? He never recharged it, recharged at all. Fuck that. All right, we did a little bit of something here. We can get some kind of upgrade going, I'm sure. What have we got? 204. Holy shit. How did I end up with this much extra? All right, well, let's see what we got. Changes how much copper you start with. Ammo capacities. Secondary skills, my little tail whip thing. Gain additional secondaries. Oh, that costs 50. Okay, so I don't have that much stuff. can't afford none of this shit anymore. I can work with that. Again, 45 now, hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking rocket launcher. That's a rocket launcher. What the hell is this? Fuck okay, it. Let's go for it. We'll take it. Who wants some? on the screen when I need the second shot. I missed it. You gotta hold it? Oh, it's a right click. So it's boom, and then you right click to do the... the like, boom, and then boom. I missed. Why? It doesn't like that. Oh. 
Oh, thank you, Charlie. Honestly, I would rather just have this. So my base damage of me swinging my tail Damn. The base damage of this is increased for everyone that I kill with it. Yeah, this one is a Kuza. It goes on sale a lot. Um, but yeah, this one's not a freebie. But it does go on sale relatively often because they do a lot of like DLC stuff and everything like that, so... That's mostly where they make their money, I feel like. Yeah, I think I got this and it was on sale for like 10 bucks, I think. Yeah, because we're going to increase the base damage on that every time we use it. Or every time we kill with it. Ship. Let's see what we're rocking with here. Like that. We got this thing back again. Yeah, a little bastards.
have my sniper. Fire, what's up? And so let's take a swig. Get a little beverage in. And stretch it on out. Alright, we're gonna get it. We're going we're getting getting squared away. We're getting all set up. The whoops oh, man. This is going to be where a big ass dude is, so we're going to see what we got. Hell yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's keep it on rocking and a rolling. some of that. Now, I saw something about that fire. It says the PS5 Pro got revealed here. I'll just... Oh. Boom. Right there. Extra, extra read all about it. Uh, so it's a... 65% bigger GPU than the base PS5 and with a no disc version that comes out on November 7th. It's gonna have to be fucking more than two terabytes if it's a no disc version for all these damn games that have been coming out, that's for sure.
Games accept test. <laughs> Has there been like a super awesome exclusive PS5 game? Like, I haven't been keeping up with it a ton, but... I can't really get behind a $700 one when you could build like a more than capable PC that can do more than play games for like two, three hundred dollars more than that. It's Concord and that was a terrible, yeah, that's the fucking truth. says GT7. I thought that was going to be a PC thing. I thought it was going to be PlayStation and PC. Or am I thinking of something else? Oh, I made it to the final. Hey. a different big boy than I've been having to shoot at. Well, that's a thing. I was trying to get out the way. Well, shit. A lot of forgiveness in this game here. All right, we can update one of these things. Let's see. Damage resistance would probably be pretty good. I saw Ed Fire. I hope it goes like when I hope it goes on sale during like the Steam if they have like a fall sale or something. I hope it goes on sale so more people can grab it. It does kind of suck that only like three of us get on. Cause I'd like to play that more. I'd love that one car, the open wheel car. What was it like the F? Like what was it the Mazda Formula Mazda or whatever the hell? Those things were fun as shit to drive. The rest of it's okay. The 86s aren't bad. Um, oh, Black Friday, too. I always forget that's a thing. Yeah, yeah.
keep rolling. I love my bird, dude, man. Got the fucking tail whip and the drop kick. And he looks badass. This is my guy right here. All of these guns suck. I'll take the shotgun for now. Play a little Doom action. Got the super shotgun. Get some of that. And some of that. And some of that. Punk ass. Oh, you're good fire. I'm actually waiting for somebody to get on anyway. Me and Miss Lily are supposed to be playing this one tonight. As soon as she gets on, we'll be doing some shoosting. Does anyone know if they ever fix Snow Runner? It's like speaking of test drive, I'm thinking about like the old test drive games back in the day. They haven't touched it since. That's ridiculous. It's like fucking split. Have like the greatest game ever, fuck it all up, and then just quit. It's like they're the ones that fucked it up. There's a new SnowRunner game? Expe like it's called like SnowRunner Expeditions or what's the I've been pay I know nothing about the shit. I am so out of the loop on literally everything. some damn help or something around here, man. Expeditions, a mud runner game is the, that's the fucking title they came up with.
That's that's a really bad name. <laughs> Damn, I need some help or something. Hey, you, give me help. Take that. Why do people not like it, Akuza? What is it just typical stuff like it's kind of the same as with Car X Street or where they go to make a new game and it has way less features and content than the previous one? Fire says in test drive you can't even like saving the game like saving the game at all doesn't work how did they even release the fuck like what i don't understand is like how things get to that point like these are things that if i'm making a game, which nobody makes their own game engines anymore, I mean, except in real specific situations. But for the most part, you're on an existing game engine where most of this shit is already there. But like... Creating a framework of, for like, for the, the game menus that you want, and, you know, saving progress if you're gonna be doing multiplayer stuff, like... You know, how are those things going to be synced up? Is it cross-platform? Is it you know, all that kind of stuff? That's the shit you do first, and you get working with like a little, you know, a little cube with wheels on it for a car before you start building out like the actual content part. Like you get the shit working first. Like I just don't understand. It's like, you know, you make 75 cars with all of this customization and this big ass map and all this stuff none of that amounts to a hill of shit if you can't save your goddamn game like
it's like they need to go back to making simple games that work well. Like this. This is a simple game that works well. Hades. Hades is a simple game that works well. I need to play that again sometime soon. play multiplayer do anything so it's worse than what forza was see this is why i don't i don't pre-order games or buy them when they come out anymore like unless it's coming from a developer that like i know you know speaking of hades like if i had played hades a long time ago and then hades 2 was going to come out uh, yeah like that's one of those games where it's like oh of course um But just good grief, man. Expedition has better physics, more gross, rolling, questionable design choices, uninteresting maps, boring quests. May as well stick with SnowRunner. Damn. SnowRunner was awesome. Even without the mods, that's another one of those things where the, I mean, it's like, yeah, the mods and all are great, but it's almost like, gets to the point where it takes away from the original game. Car X has had that problem. Like, the original game is great, and like, but all the modding stuff is like, the original game's not even the game anymore. Because the mods for SnowRunner just got to be, like, way too much. They were cool as shit, don't get me wrong, and some of the maps that people made were beyond incredible. But good lord. But yeah, SnowRunner was SnowRunner was rock solid, man. I that it sucks that they broke the multiplayer and then just didn't fix it because the multiplayer was fine, literally for years. And then they just broke it.
Minecraft. Minecraft is a great example of a game that started out simple but became complex and still like gets the job done. Like there's tons of mods and all kinds of shit for that and all this crazy server stuff and whatever and you don't need any of it. Straight up vanilla ass Minecraft. Even the, I mean like the Bedrock one honestly is like gets the fucking job done. Like it's a fun experience to play. Like it doesn't go wrong. I mean, obviously, you guys know how I feel about old school shooter games and shit. You're Doom and Duke Duke and everything like that. I mean, same thing. And there's more modern titles that still, like, kind of try to follow that notion. You know what I mean? Like, I always say that, I mean, Prey is my favorite game for a reason. Uh, just from the drop it was fucking perfect hey there are there's always in games of that scale like there's always gonna be bugs here and there that just didn't get caught in playtesting because the games are huge you know but like they fixed them and everything you know the bioshock games great example I felt like the just the Bioshock series in general. Can't go wrong with Portal. Can't go wrong with Half-Life. Any of the Half-Life series. Halo is pretty damn good. One of my favorite games from when I was younger, which I actually have on Steam. I wonder if it'll run. It was Unreal 2. The new Doom games are pretty great. I think that, um... I don't like... I sh the dropkick thing should take you, like, straight. Like, I should be able to jump up the thing with it. Um, maybe I have to jump first and then do it. Um, yeah, I don't. I'm just tired of these new games with, like, supposed to have all these bells and whistles and all this shit, and they just don't work. That's what the new fucking Valve game's gonna be. Sorry to be a negative Nancy, but that game's gonna suck ass. I've seen video of it. More of the same old shit, man. I mean, I know it's like a super pre-alpha too, so it's not like... I, I'm not shitting on, like, the visuals of it, like, the style by any means, because obviously I'm understanding of, you know, develop the development process. I just mean, like, you know, y'all know I don't like games like that in general. That part's obvious, so I'm not, you know, no, no shocking news there. Um... But it's just, I don't know. And of all the things that Valve could just completely cash in on unbelievable amounts of money, and that's what they're doing with their time. Like, Half-Life Alex was really cool for the seven people that have, that can afford the systems and VR headsets to fucking play it. Like, why they spent that time in development, I mean, the game was fucking beautiful. Everything I've seen of it, it looks amazing. But, like, why didn't they make Half-Life 3?
That was a lag. But I mean, they could be they could be working on a new Team Fortress game. They could have made uh, instead of that, they could have made Team Fortress 3, which essentially would have carried half of those fucking features anyway. Um Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. There's so many different directions they could go that's not that. Like, and the market is so saturated with fucking games like that. I just don't understand the, like, the higher-ups like them. I don't know if that's straight from Gabe himself or what, but, like, I just don't understand of all the options that they could have. Um that's what they decided to push for like it just doesn't make any sense especially right after how huge of a thing cs2 was like that's your cash cow that's your money maker it did huge things in like the gaming media world all eyes were on that game it had a little bit of a rocky start but they made a bunch of quick fixes early so everybody's like oh you know this is great and then just let it go by the wayside. Like, if they would have capitalized on that momentum of all the eyes on CS2, all the esports stuff with the, the major. And all like the pro scene, all the gambling and all of this shit. Like, if they would have just capitalized on that continue to recreate the features from CSGO and and push the game. I mean, it would have taken the concurrent player record like it would they would keep setting new records every day. But instead, this is what they've chosen and it's going to make them no money. And like I I just I don't I don't get it. And what I don't get either is, like, two of the games that it's competing with are their own fucking games. Like, they're making their own competition to Dota and fucking TF2. So, they're building their own fucking competition and neglecting their biggest cash cow game. What the fuck are we doing? Like... I will never understand.
I'm gonna go in here and die, because I've got no health or nothing. We'll just do this, fuck it. The full game of Test Drive comes out. I thought it was already done. Like, I thought that was the game. You mean the thing that people have been playing is not the game? Oh. Well, they fucked that up. <laughs> All right, don't get shot by big dude this time. Well, we got a decent chunk of shit for that one, so. It's gonna, what's gonna have a battle? The test drive game is gonna have a battle? They can fuck off. Oh my god. That's insane. I, this makes me wanna go, I wanna go play fucking Combat Master. I, I love those guys, man. I, they've got. I gotta find out if they've got some type of fucking partner program. I haven't seen anything about it on their Discord. I need to just message one of them. Love that goddamn game. I also wish more people were playing it because it is chock full of bots, which is still fun. It's still fun to get on there and fuck up. I'm just like grinding through the the weapon customization stuff. Might go do that. Hey, look who's uh here. Hey. Where have you been? Uh, I don't really know. Don't I know. sent you a text about it, but oh. anyway. Oh, I got you. I haven't even looked. Shoot, and my headphones aren't charged. Well, you're all good. Either way. So what are y'all up to? Ah, uh, so far it's just me, and I'm just shooting shit up on gunfire. That's about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we've been hanging out. We've been we've been bitching about game developers. That's what we. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of bitching to be done in that realm. Right. If they would be a little less stupid all the time. See that? See, she's got. Me. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. This is. What <laughs> All right, so let's see. I've got. A, I'm, I'm upgrading my talents or whatever right now because I keep getting killed by shit. I'm terrible. All right, let's see. Get good, son. Right. Um. That's gonna help.
that one will probably help. That'll help. We'll just do one of each of those. One of damage resistance. Fuck it. All right. I said maybe they should think of right before you got here we were talking about them doing battle pass for a racing game uh which is exactly as dumb as it sounds uh so Akuza says maybe should they should think of a better way to distribute rewards instead of copying Fortnite's homework we're not kidding who was the first right, what was the first game see this is a fire fire is gonna find the information of this question or Akuza might just know it's gonna be one of y'all but what was the first actual game that did a battle pass? Like, was it Fortnite? Or was it one of the Call of Duty games? So Fortnite was the very, 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 very first one. Like, they did that shit before Rocket League? All, all fingers point to Fortnite. You sound like a fucking Magic 8-Ball. <laughs> All signs point to Fortnite. Ask again later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to win a game as Dude Man to unlock his... his little thing. Damn, that's gonna take me forever. Because that's what I want, because I like my little bird dude. We'll get there. Hell yeah. Here's Wayne speaking of Fortnite. Look, I thought you were asleep. What? He just wakes up and Alex is on his screen. That's just, you can't. It's like a disease. <laughs> I'm a technology transmissible disease. I'm just stuck. I'm like, I get your screen gets burned in, and it's just me down here, like. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you are. Not rushing you by any means if you're. Oh, doing I have something. to click red. Yeah. Look at your cute little pink bunny ears going on. <laughs> Fuck you, Wayne! Ah, damn it! <sighs> Wayne's making me do push-ups. Oh no. Oh uh, no, no. That's terrible. It's, I, look, I'm, I'm, come on, son. Look at, look at this, Wayne. Look at this. Do, do you need more of this? Is that what you're looking for? Do you need, do you need more where this came from? Do you need... <laughs> My skinny little ass. Let me see. Is my damn other camera thing gotten better enough? Nope, this, look, this bitch is dead, dead, dead. How does it die? It just sits here and does nothing. I ain't bald nothing. My, I have luxurious hair. I don't know how many times I gotta keep telling y'all this. <laughs> The hair of, the hair of, who's got good hair? <laughs> I don't know. I've got some kind of hair over here. All right. Well, what, I'm not doing any damn push-ups. What am I going to do? I'm gonna do squats. It's leg day. We'll do them old tricep dips. That's what we'll do. All right. Hang on. I got to do this before we go into the. Can't uh, skip leg day. Can't skip. Mm. I am skipping leg day because I'm doing tricep dips for fucking. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got my feet on the. We got down. All right, there we go. Uh, one, yeah, two, three. He says jumping jacks. Four. It's one o'clock in the morning. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm getting shot at. Look at this. I'm dodging bullets, working out. Truly <laughs> really a renaissance man. That's right. Somebody understands me around here. Little green things are fucking crazy. You bouncy knives. <laughs> I've gotten one in almost every game I've played tonight. Which has only been one, and I went really far, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely hasn't been like six. Uh huh. Hey, wait, what the hell are y'all doing to me? Don't be making fucking memes and shit out of me. Y'all do that enough as it is. I keep saying I will post all these clips y'all take from the stream and then don't do it. I'm about to make a pretty significant change to the YouTube, speaking of which, while we're shooting some low-level motherfuckers here, uh, I'm thinking about pretty much just emptying out my YouTube channel, because uh, it is chock full of things that nobody watches, uh, that are all like four and five hours long apiece, like it's really just a bunch of nothing all in one spot, so I was kind of thinking about repurposing it to basically just be like TikTok light. Well, do you watch them on there or on Twitch, Wayne? Because you're quite literally one of the like only people that do. <laughs> Except for Slide Style, but of course that's why it has its own little channel. Ah, uh, okay, I got you. Yeah, that makes sense. I haven't uploaded shit on there in like two, three months. I mean, fair, Kuzo, but. There's apparently not a limit to, uh, like, if you do a highlight, you can just highlight the entire stream. And they don't, like, limit how many of those you can do. So, like, I could do what I do on, like, with the YouTube just without it ever leaving here. I didn't even think about that fire. I didn't know people do that. I don't understand the concept of like ah, making your uh making viewers pay for stuff like that. Like I understand
because there's like a guy that I watch that does like tutorials and stuff like that and he's like a teacher basically and like so he has additional paid content like that you can get access to or whatever because like he's literally doing a job like he's teaching people things and like doing all this stuff there's like a but, red chest down here oh there is uh what scrolls do i have I don't know if I want to give up any of these for uh, anything. Well, you give up health, but... Oh, that one's yeah. a health one? Yeah. Oh. That'll be alright. Yeah, that's true, Wayne. I need to get back to doing them. I need to set, like, on my calendar, like, Monday, I need to do all of the previous week's VODs and, like, just do the whole thing. So that way, instead of it being, like, 70 of them at a time, when I finally get around to it, it's just, like, five or six. Anyway, so Fire's got the Fortnite Battle Pass was October 2017, and then Rocket League's first thing was a year later. Freaking soul. Hell yeah. It was before Epic. Okay. I forgot that was a thing, too. Yeah, 
and the sword as well. That's the melee weapon, they're cool. Hell yeah. What you got, Pedro? Got guns. I'm good on what I got. Here. Yeah, it's scroll for me. See what the dog was yelling about real quick. Be right back. Crazy ass dog. Be barking at nothing. Alright. Hell yeah. Got him. 
handled his punk ass. Oh yeah, let's do it.
don't know if you need that thing, but I already have one. Yeah. his whole business. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't touch your song.
Hell yeah. Badass, you got lightning flying behind you and shit. <laughs> Pretty cool. that back.
Nice. Big ugly motherfucker. Get drop kicked, son.
shit. You ready? Uh, should be. Do it. Yeah, I'm trying to get to you. I'm probably gonna die on the way there. Poison. Yep. Damn it. Uh. Huh? It was a decent run. We got to the second, dude. Yeah, I thought that was pretty solid. I feel like we didn't roll like weapons and stuff very well. Though. At least I didn't. I got an okay one. All the different crazy combos and stuff of where every time you reload you gain damage and that type of stuff yeah all right let's see talent hero
Yakuza asks, whatever happened to Shatterline? Um, I know they had to, like, put a pause on development for some reason. I don't, I haven't looked in a while. I need to see what they've been up to. I like that game a lot. That one's a lot of fun. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of upgrades and everything. Oh, nice. Oh, well, I am good to, good to make another run at it. Hopefully we'll get some cool weapon stuff this time. Yeah. Is that a freaking minigun? Hell yeah. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Do some damage. That's some ammo. I'm going to be lobbing grenades everywhere until I find a better gun.
Oh shit, I got stuck in the fire stuff. One behind me. My bad. Noob. Around here trying to melee everything, getting stuck in fire and shit. Fucker. Got rid of the sword. Ah, uh, it's of the game plan. I should be streaming tomorrow night, but then I am at the racetrack Friday and Saturday, and then uh, we finally get to go to our 21 Pilots concert on Sunday, which I'm super freaking excited for. Um, so tomorrow night and then back Monday. Tis the game plan. Probably gonna do some racing related games tomorrow. I feel like setting the wheel up and doing something. So we'll see.
Uh, I would venture to say, Akuza, I know almost... I would I I would be shocked if anybody could provide me a piece of information about my boys that I didn't know. Um I've been like fully fucking locked in. Basically from the moment that I found out that all of their music like carries a backstory. Like, there's all this, like, lore and everything. Like, I was absolutely hooked, like, from that point forward. Um, but yeah, I know all their stuff. Um, every, I know damn near every word to every song. It's kind of, uh, kind of sad, really, but... But I love those guys very, very much. Personal opinions on songs. Okay, so... I mean, Heathens was... I'm pretty sure initially commissioned for that. I think it was the Suicide Squad movie. Um, It does... The, it, the song does the job. It is kind of fun live. I mean, it's definitely not like... A, it's not part of any of that lore stuff that I had mentioned earlier. Um, So, like... Nothing to super write home about there. Oh, shit. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I'll give you the other two after we finish this one, Akuza. It got me that time.
Anyway, um, that was a good one. Hell yeah. It, it got a little dicey for a second. Okay, so anyway, yeah, Heathens, nothing, nothing to write home about. Definitely not one of their best songs, but also it was like a commercial radio thing. So, I mean, it's still, it's still really good. But, um, and then Stressed Out. So, I mean, that's obviously probably their biggest, like, mainstream radio hit, except for maybe Ride. Um, I think a lot of people misunderstand the lyrics and underlying meaning of the song because the, the general public doesn't know all of the story lore stuff. So, uh, where on the surface, like if you just listen to Stressed Out on the radio and you're just a regular person in the middle of the day, none of the actual message of that song carries. It's a uh, very, it seems really basic, you know, like, and it actually seems, uh, without knowing the story, this, the song itself actually seems very similar to um, Handlebars by Flowbots. As far as, like, the way it's... The song is about two people that are obviously used to be friends but are not friends anymore and having to deal with life and whatnot uh, in different ways. Obviously, the songs are very different themes, but you get what I'm saying. Um, but that is not, like, it's not what it's about at all. Um, like the, uh, the, damn it. You get killed by that trap. No, no, I was coming to you. I'm coming to you. Ah. How do I get I you? You can't. I'm dead now. I don't get you. Yeah, Great. I was. I was I trying back, to. Though? Uh, I think you have to get to the next portion of the map. Oh. So like out of the vault and then on to the next like level. Yeah. I got jammed in between one of those balls in the wall and it just kept going until it killed me. Oh, also you can revive me at a peddler if you find one. Uh, yeah. When things get relatively quiet, I'll continue answering the question. Uh, <laughs> kind of like right now. Um, but yeah, like for example, the line of that song where it's, um, my name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. Like, it's not some type of like, there's no symbolism there at all. He's literally talking about a character in the story. His name is Nico that goes by Blurry Face. And like the I care what you think part is almost like a politician where they're just like, oh, I'm here for the people, but really they only give a fuck about themselves. That's what the song is about. Um, the Flowbots thing actually still carries with that part, but yeah, anyway. Uh, so I love that song. Um, and then Next Semester is just a badass song. Uh, I, I just like that one. Uh, there's definitely, obviously, a recurring theme with those guys outside of the storyline. In in and out of the storyline stuff is uh, depression and suicide and things like that. So, obviously, the, the song essentially being about, like, just not giving a fuck about, you know, getting the things done that you need to get done and just, you know, like clearly says in the song, you know, he just walked out in front of a fucking car. The guy swerves out of the way and is like, hey, you can't, you can't go back in time, so just try to change it moving forward.
it's definitely a, it's outside of their typical style but they did that a lot with this new album so but i i love that song i love the entire new album is i have been listening to it almost non-stop since it came out I could give a full essay on every song from every album that they Damn. have, I swear. Why did I we tried. get fucked up so bad this time? I don't know, you ran into a ball. This is true. I just balls to the face. I just got... And I wasn't happy about it, but I don't know why. I can't... <laughs> no. Oh, let's see. Why would I not be happy? What do I want to add to? Gemini inscriptions, finally. That's a super important one to get. Yep. That's one of the first ones I got to. Had to make sure we got that one. Uh, Kuza says, so you'd say the lore, as it were, is shared within an album or something overarching through all their music. So they say that the lore stuff started with the album Blurry Face. Uh, but one thing, if you were to follow 21 Pilots, you will find is everything they say is bullshit uh <laughs> every if they ever do any type of press release if when they do their like they do live streams every so often uh when they do inner like they rarely do interviews so when they like sign up and do a radio interview or something like that they lie they <laughs> <laughs> they just and Tyler will just walk in and Josh just rides. He just he just does the thing. Anything that Josh says is usually legit. Anything that Tyler says is almost guaranteed to be a lie. Um in regards to like their music and the story and the lore and all that stuff. And he always has this look on his face when he does it too. Somebody will ask a question and he'll answer and he's just like lying through his teeth and it's funny as hell. Um so they say that the stuff started with blurry face but i mean if you listen to the the themes and stuff on like their very very first like demos and really old music that you can pull up on youtube and stuff like that um it's been there since the beginning and on their self-titled album i mean it's like blatantly in the lyrics like it's already there they just don't name people directly or like play like it's the story is the city of Dima and it's this whole I'm not gonna go into the whole thing right now it's it's, it's a long freaking story. There's magic and dragons and shit. It's it's and cute little Ned guys. There's a whole fucking thing. Uh, Ned would be that Ned should be a DLC character in this game. He would fit perfectly into this game. Uh, oh, he did the little antler thing. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Ned's a cute little cuddly guy that has magic antlers that raise people from the dead. Don't I don't know. Man. This is just what's ha what's happening. Uh, but yeah, it goes through literally all of their music. Uh, and on this more recent album, because now they have finally this last album is the first album in over ten years that they have they talk about it openly. It, they didn't talk about the storyline stuff at all before. They would drop little hints here and there, but they would never just openly talk about it. Um, but now they do, and it's kind of weird. Um, but... Like, during the live stream thing that they did for this last album, like, they made... Like Tyler was saying, like, oh, well, this is a lore-related song, and then these are not lore-related songs, but if you look and listen to them, just like all their albums, it's tied into everything. So it's very much like his creative process is done through the story. Like, I wherever, you know, 
how, wherever he goes in his mind to, to to get to these things, as I've been learning more about, thanks to a certain someone. Uh, but like the place that he goes to, that's fully fleshed out in his mind, like the story and everything like that. That's where the music comes from. So like it all is based in that, which is it's so freaking cool. And it's crazy too because like in some of the songs there will be lyrics that just don't seem to point to anything. It's just like, oh well that's something that rhymed, or it's like, oh that fits the theme, and then two albums later, like there will be a song that explains what that line meant. And it probably also when he wrote it didn't mean shit. Kinda like how what's her name when she wrote Harry Potter? Like you can tell in the first like two Harry Potter books, she was just making shit up as she went along, and then she was having to like tie up loose ends later on. She's like, God damn it, I forgot. Fuck. <laughs> like that happens a lot too, you can tell just listening to their music. It's like, oh shit, yeah, we did mention this one time. Maybe we could do something with that. Oh. Um, but it's a lot of fun. My little dude is so badass looking. Your bird man. We want to do another one, or you had enough for tonight? Yeah. I think I'm a little gun fired. No worries. Mostly just because it's late. Sorry, I disappeared for like an hour and a half. No, you're good. As long as you're okay. That's good. Well, if that's the case, I might play. Hey, I do kind of want to work on that my overlay stuff because I figured out the radars were screwed up earlier. I might do that. So I might call it for tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll here I'll answer Akuza's last thing before jumping off stream for the evening. Uh, here, let's see. Do I use my? I, I never use this little feature, so I need to use it. Boom! There we go. Uh, asking about those three songs because they're the ones in Fortnite. Ah, I remember that. Uh, I wonder if they're decent picks or if there's something better. Um, uh, so I can tell you as far as the Fortnite thing goes, um, next semester got picked off the new album because they hadn't. When that happened, they hadn't. Re they had only released two other songs yet. Uh, and it's the only one of the three songs that they had released for the new album at that point that would work in a uh, rock band kind of format. Uh, so that's why they picked that one. There is one that is way better on that album that would have been way better for that type of format, and it's called At the Risk of Feeling Dumb. And it's very quickly... It's fighting with guns for hands to be, like, my favorite song of theirs, period. Like, it's that good and it would have been that good to do the Fortnite thing and just they hadn't released it yet at that point um or it was like really really close like the licensing and all that the timing for them to develop it it didn't it didn't work um stressed out is like an obvious pick like I said it would have either been that or ride because that's the two songs from blurry face that were like major massive radio hits that's the reason why their fucking concert tickets cost so much now um and then I don't know why he has got put in there because that song sucks for for that purpose for like a rock band kind of you know that that type of thing um what would I have picked instead of Heaton so if they were going to do Blurry Face they're not I guess a song from Vessel would have probably been good Semi-Automatic would have been fun for that type of thing uh, Guns for Hands obviously would have been because I fucking love that song, but that would have been a good choice. Trees because it's bouncy. Um, those would have probably been better picks. So yeah, next semester and stressed out are great. Uh, Heathens is the only one I don't know, but it's also one of their like most wildly famous songs as well. So. There's that. That's that's my 21 Pilots Fortnite TED Talk for this evening. Uh, 
I'm gonna jump off stream and go work on some uh, work on some Counter Strike overlay stuff because it's like this close. It's super close. It's almost doing what I wanted to. I appreciate everybody for hanging out. And uh, fucking Keto, I don't think he's here anymore. But holy shit, with the sub, I love you, buddy. The the OGest of OGs. Uh, well, hell, if you want to look through some of their stuff, Akuza, I will. I mean, they're so they they have a playlist on their official YouTube now that is like the music videos that like expand on the lore. I mean, like I said, all of their songs have something in it, but they have a budgeted music videos that like they did on location and shit in like Iceland and Ukraine and like they went all over Europe to these beautiful places to like get the shots to do and they've done all this CGI shit it's crazy but they have a video that's like the story so far that explains what's going on and then they have all of the songs in quote unquote order in a playlist with all of the story stuff uh, and that is, I feel like if you go watch that first video, see if it seems interesting to you. The one, I forget what they called it, but I think they called it I Am Clancy. Uh, but like it explains everything. And if that seems interesting, start going through that video playlist and like watching the story unfold that he just, like he tells you the story, then go watch the story unfold with all the details and everything. And then you'll know if you're hooked or not. Or you'll get halfway through it and be like, this sucks. Uh, <laughs> but Vessel is probably my favorite album of theirs. Trench is the best put together piece of artwork in their new album Clancy just fucking rips from start to finish. It's so goddamn good on like 30 different levels just... They just keep getting better every time. They're the only band I've ever known that's ever done that. So I love I love my boys very much, and I'm very very excited for uh, for Sunday. And I would say I would come back with pictures and videos and stuff like that, but I almost have made a rule for myself to not do that at their shows. I like I just put my phone and shit away, and I am just in it. Like it's it's awesome. But anyway. Yeah, that would be the one, Akuza. Yep. That is the one. All right. I'm headed out of here. Go listen. Let me know what you think. and Or if you have any lore questions either, because I have been deep in the Reddit threads and all of that shit and keeping up with everything and all of it. So I, if anything's like, hey, who, who is this guy and why they mentioned this? I've got you. I can answer all of that shit. I'm getting out of here. I've been Alex. I've been on your screen. You've been you. And you guys are amazing love you guys especially keto because he gave me money no i'm just playing keto is the og and he's the best y'all have a good night be safe out there we'll see y'all tomorrow we'll do some racing or some shit i'll catch y'all later peace out